Okay, so in this video we're checking out another 75 millimeter whoop here, brushless whoop, from a new company called Envision, and it's called the Junior Racer. So this is uh, basically the exact same specs, uh, as far as I can tell, as the Beta FPV 75X 3S version. So unfortunately I never got a chance to review that version. I reviewed the 2S version, which had the 1103 11,000 kV motors and was a completely different like setup. It was only a 2S uh, whoop board. This one here is 2 to 4S and this one has different motors. This has the, the same motors as on the 3S version of the 75X, the 1103-8000 kV motors. And the flight controller, as far as I can tell, it looks the same as the one in the Beta FPV. I think see the USB port comes at the bottom there. Twits a 12 amp. Uh, 4 in 1 ESC flight controller, uh, F4, 2 to 4S. And the recommended battery on this one is uh, 3S300. I actually flew it on something pretty similar. Um, this is 3S 350 from Race Day Quads. The camera is the same as well, the um, Cadex um, EOS 2 camera. That's also on from the Beta FPV model as well. Which, by the way, th that model isn't sold anymore, coincidentally. So it's kind of interesting that Beta FPV discontinued that model. And now this new company here is basically making that same model with the same electronics here, um, but just a different frame and uh, different packaging. The uh, video transmitter, I believe, is also the same, 25 to 200 milliwatts. And you can see antenna sticking on the back here. Uh, this is a uh, plug and play, so I had to add my own receiver. There was a little typical, you know, um, servo connector here that you had to cut off and then solder on a receiver. I just soldered on like a AC900 receiver here, single antenna. Um, this is mainly meant for flying in indoors uh, or smaller or larger or smaller, smaller outdoor places. Um, so yeah, if I flew in a parking garage, um, you know, obviously wind's going to affect this. Now, as you can see here, this frame's pretty different. It's got this sort of like octagonal duct here. It's uh, This plastic is like a soft touch plastic, which is like the same on the frame and on the canopy, which is kind of nice. It's a like matte finish. I'm not sure if that's like going to scratch off or not. Um, doesn't seem like it, you know, I did you know, scrape it on the ground a few times and it didn't come off, so it seems fine. Not really sure how durable this is, it, it's fairly stiff, but it does flex a little bit. So, as opposed to in any hard crash, anything can break. It does have a carbon plate here on the bottom. It looks like about a um, one millimeter carbon plate that makes this very stiff compared to the, at least the 2S version of the 75X that I reviewed. So, in terms of the pit tune and everything, it flies pretty good, but you know, with all this, you know, extra durability here, basically uh, thicker ducts here for the frame. This canopy is very, very tough looking, very hard plastic. This whole thing is about 10 grams heavier than the 75X 3S that Beta FPV sold. So, well, that one, you know, I might have had some durability durability issues. This one uh, probably solves that with a lot of these sort of enhancements to beef it up basically comes in about 55 grams and the uh the 75 x 3s came in around 45 grams so if you're looking for something a little bit more durable for your beginner for example uh, this may be not a bad choice because you're going to be able to bash this around it ought to take a, a pretty decent beating uh pit tune seemed fine flew fine uh, nothing really special notable notable about that i didn't really do any serious acro with this because it's so heavy and because of the extra weight and I already know this motor and this power setup isn't able to come out of dives without doing the yaw washout because the one that's 10 grams lighter uh, got yaw washout so the one that's 10 grams heavier here this one here is definitely going to get yaw washout because it's got the same power setup so you're not going to have any more power but you have extra weight so you're going to get the yaw washout if you're trying to do a kind of acro dive split us is that kind of thing with this thing so it's not really meant for that i think what they're targeting here is people that are starting out maybe flying in a you know medium sized larger sized indoor space maybe doing some racing bashing around this thing should be fine everything looks fairly well protected you can see the camera's well protected and uh you know the props are well protected it's gonna it's gonna hold up i think pretty well in most crashes most situations but yeah really not really anything that interesting other than the fact that it's more beefed up and it's got a different kind of design and color here uh, it's got the exact same 
power setup and electronics that the 75X 3S version had. So yeah, overall, I like the looks of it. It flies okay if you're just doing sort of like indoor whoop style racing, it's fine for that, but I don't think I would get this for any kind of act or anything like that. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I guess with the limited camera angle, you can only make it go so fast. I could probably fly this in a smaller indoor space as well, but not, not as small as my house. I don't hear anything unusual about the tune. It's a little on the loose side, but not terrible. I still have pretty good control. All right, it's got regular rates, not too bad. A little windy outside and the wind's coming through here as well. Yeah, uh, still the battery, I think.